Good evening my YouTube viewers, it's Crystal here. I'm just here because I wanted to make another video on real world applications for statistics. And this one application that I've made is that for a sales tracker where you can keep track of sales. And with this sales tracker, you've got two data sets. You have one data set, which is your product list and you have another data set which tracks your sales. So the data set that uh, has contained your product list is just data that you have input into the product list. But the data set that tracks the sales, you can see this particular data set, this particular sales tracker, uh, last for uh, three days so it's it's a date on it so that means it's time series the and then it has a product tracker and then it says what the item is it says how many items were sold okay and this one it, in the next one it says price per unit it uses a VLOOKUP for um, the product ID and then you go over to the product list and you look up the product list and then it's item number three in the in the data set and then for revenue you multiply J3 times I3 for unit cost you have another uh, VLOOKUP and this time the VLOOKUP is going to be um, the fourth element in the data set. And then you check the total cost on that. That's going to be L3 times I3. So that's the total cost of the item. And then you check for profit. And that's going to be K3 minus M3. So you're getting a line one of the first item in the um, sales tracker, you have a thousand pounds profit. And in this sales tracker, you just copy all the formulas down to the end, and then that will give you the profit. And then when you do your sales tracker, uh, what you're going to do is you're going to use pivot tables. You're going to set up a pivot table and this particular pivot table that we've set up it's going to be set up by every day and every day you're going to have the item and the profit and then what we're going to do is we're going to make a um we're going to make a a chart a column chart where it tracks the item and the profit so you can see W002 has a very healthy profit. And if we come over here, I'm just trying to do it. It's, it's, if you come over here to W002, it's a laptop. So you have a computer, a laptop, a tablet, and a smartphone. And the laptops seem to sell more than anything else. So we're going to do another pivot table, and this was going to be the days, the three days, but it's just going to be some of the profit. So it's going to be the total profit for each day, and again, you're going to have another column chart that's made from the pivot table that tells you the sum of the profit, and you can see that the most profit was made on the 25th of May. And so we have a third pivot table where you have uh, the item ID and the sum of the profit for the item ID. And that's going to tell you how much profit you made for each ID number. And what I did was I created a pie chart that will give you the percentage of each um each item. So W001 is a computer. 
so you made more profit on a computer than you did anything else. You made 49% profit on the computer. W002 was, no, no, sorry, that was W002 was the laptop, and you made 49% profit on the laptop. W001, you made 22% profit. W004, you made 12% profit. And W003, you made 17% profit. So we made more money on a laptop than we did any of the other items. And so that's it. That's how you complete a sales tracker. If you want to know how to create a, um, a, a pivot table, then what you do is you come over here and you do insert and you do pivot table and then you can say from table range and uh, it would be from the sales tracker range and then you can make a pivot table that way so let's just come over here insert pivot table from table range and so it's going to be sales tracker um, F2 to N14 and we're going to want it on the existing worksheet and we're going to say A8 A8 and then you press OK And then that gives you your pivot table. And then when you have your pivot table, so let's just say, we'll say um, item. And then we'll say um, units. And then we'll put the units in the values. We'll put the units. In the values and then so that will tell you how many units you sold of each item so you sold 19 uh, computers 42 laptops 41 smartphones and 28 tablets and you sold a total of 130 items and if you wanted to make a graph of that you come over here, you highlight the items in the pivot table that you want to make a graph of. You do insert and you do recommended charts. And what we're going to do is we will do a column chart and then here's a column chart and then we press OK. And here is the column chart. So, so that's it. That's how you track your sales and how you make a pivot table to actually track the sales. But I'm just going to take this off for the time being. So, and um, so because I just wanted to show you how to actually make a pivot table. And so that's it. So we showed you how to set up your sales tracker, how you have a data set with your product list and a data set with your sales tracker that's time division, that that's a time series, time series. And then we showed you how to make a pivot table. We had three particular pivot tables so you can track the work. And that that's it for this sales tracker. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and conclude this video. If you like my video, please like and subscribe. Thank you so much for watching my video and I look forward to making another video for you in the future that will cover a real life uh, project that you can make for statistics. So you can put it in your portfolio.
so you can use it to advance in your career if that's what you want to do.